Hey friends, I'm Misty with Christians Do Yoga, and today I am going to bring you a very gentle flow. We're not even going to stand up, so if you will just pull out your mat and come meet me in a comfortable seated position, we will get started. Okay, we're gonna jump right into this, sitting comfortably on your mat, closing your eyes, palms can be facing up on your knees. We're gonna take five deep breaths together. Inhale. And let it out. Again. One more time. While you're staying here, continuing to take a few more breaths, I would like to read a scripture over you. In Matthew 11, 28 through 29, it says, Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. I will refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways, and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me. So friend, today, if you are finding yourself um, low on energy or just tired, drained, carrying burdens, um, let's just release that to God now and find some movement gentle movement, interlacing your hands, your palms are going to reach up. Stretching those arms over to one side. Back to center and to the other side. Back to center, release. We're gonna let those arms come into a wide T, interlacing into eagle arms and tucking your head into your chest. Continuing to take those slow, deep breaths. Releasing your arms. One arm is coming overhead. The other is reaching up the back. Releasing the arms again, coming into a T. We're bringing it back into eagle arms. Whichever side was on top the last time, reverse it. Once again, bring in your chin to your chest. Releasing the arms, that top arm is coming overhead. The other arm is reaching up the back. Releasing your arms, bringing them to your knees. We're gonna flow through some seated cat cow. So your inhale is gonna lift your chest up. And your exhale is going to arch your back. Inhale to come up. Exhale to round the back. Couple more times, moving to your own breath. And 
last one. Bringing it back to center. That left hand is coming to the right knee, taking a twist back. Back to center, right hand to the left knee, twisting back. Back to center, and now we're just gonna start walking our hands forward. You can come onto your forearms if that feels good for you. You can come all the way down, reaching your arms long and hold. Walking your fingers over to the right. And taking them to the left. Back to center. Slowly, one vertebrae at a time, bringing it back up. That left foot is now coming over the right knee, taking the right elbow, hooking it into the left knee, and twisting back. back to center now whichever leg you normally have in the front you're gonna switch it bring the other leg to the front you might hear some popping like my hips just did and walk your hands forward Slowly bringing it back up. Now that front leg is coming over the knee, hooking the elbow in and taking a twist back. Back to center, coming back into that comfortable seated position. You can close your eyes here if you want, grabbing gently a hold of your head and pulling it towards the right shoulder. Release and switch sides. The left hand is gently pulling your head towards your left shoulder. Release. Now moving into a tabletop position. Hands should be underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Your inhale is going to sink your belly low. Your exhale is gonna arch your back. Inhale to sink the belly low. Exhale to arch the back couple more times moving to your own breath bringing it back to center and now we're going to wag our tails so you're gonna shake your hips side to side imagining that you're pulling your elbow to your hip Now we're gonna take some small circles. So we're coming to the right, circling our hips around. And 
And then we're gonna rotate to the left. And while we're here, we're gonna sink it back coming into child's pose. You can come into a wide child's pose. You can stay on your forearms or stretch it all the way out, allowing your head to rest on the mat. One vertebrae at a time, rolling it back up, coming into camel pose, hands come to your lower back, letting your head fall back behind you. Bringing it back down and stretching that out with a child's pose. Coming up onto your knees, letting your arms stretch out long. Your head is on the mat, coming into puppy pose. Moving back into that table. The right arm is extending up and you're going to thread it through, setting your head down on your mat. That left arm can extend long. Even in these twists, continuing to take those slow, deep breaths. Coming back into that table. This time the left arm is reaching up, threading it through, setting your head down and the right arm extends long. And back to table, coming down onto your belly. Coming into a cobra pose and just holding for a little bit of a back bend here. So laying your head down for just a couple breaths. Now your inhale is going to lift your chest up and your exhale is going to lay your head back down. Inhale to come up, exhale to bring it back down. Again. Last time. Resting your head on the mat for a couple of breaths. Coming up onto that right forearm, reaching back for the inner ankle of your left foot. Release, switching sides, coming onto the left forearm, reaching back for the inner ankle of the right foot. This time you can take either of those options or if it's available to you, you can reach back for both inner ankles, lifting your thighs and your chest off of your mat. Release, laying it back down, pushing it back into that child's pose. 
coming into whichever variation feels good for you. Bringing it back up. I have my right leg bent, my left leg is extended long. Now we're going to reach our arms out over that bent leg. Moving it back up and folding to the side. You can rest your hands at your knees or your shins, whatever feels best. Bringing it back up and switching sides. So now I'm pulling my left leg in, right leg is long and extending your arms over that bent leg. Bringing it back up and extending over the right leg. Again, you can rest your hands at your knees, at your shins, reaching for your foot. It's your practice and you know your body. And we always want to be honoring our bodies while we are practicing. Bringing it back up, coming into staff pose. Hands are by our hips. Our inhale is gonna sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold. Walking those hands back up. Our inhale sweeps the arms up. Exhale to fold. Slowly rolling it back up, pulling the right leg into your left thigh, or you can pull that right leg over to the side, whichever way feels better for you. And then we're going to extend over that left leg. Bringing it back up, taking that right foot, bringing it over the left knee, left elbow hooks in, twisting back. Back to center, right leg's coming long, that left leg is coming to your inner thigh, or you have the option to kick it out to the side and folding over that right leg. Rolling it back up, taking that left leg, it's coming over the right knee, the right elbow is hooking in and taking a twist back. Back to center, let's go ahead and come down onto our backs, pulling your knees tightly into your chest, giving yourself a squeeze. You can rock side to side here. then grabbing a hold of your knees, begin taking in some small circles. Taking those circles in the opposite direction. And 
back to center, grabbing a hold of the left knee, pulling it towards your chest. The right knee can stay bent, or if it's available to you, you can extend that right leg long. Grab a hold of the left knee with the right hand, and you're gonna pull your knee over to the right side. That left arm can come into your T. You can turn your head towards the left. Bringing it back to center, switching legs pulling the right knee into your chest. Again, the option to keep the left knee bent or extending it long. Going ahead and grabbing that right knee with your left hand Pulling your knee over to the left side, the right arm extends, your head can turn towards the right side. And bringing it back to center, bending your knees, the right foot is coming over the left knee, interlacing your hands behind that left thigh and extending that left leg long. Releasing your hands but keeping your legs just as they are Arms coming into a T and letting your legs fall to that left side, head turning towards your right. Bringing it back to center, planting the right foot. The left foot comes over that right knee, hands interlace behind the right thigh, extending that leg long. Releasing the hands, bending the knee, but keeping your legs just as they are. Arms coming into a T, letting your legs fall to the right. Head can turn towards your left. back to center one more time giving yourself a squeeze pulling those knees into your chest then allowing your legs to come long bringing one hand over your belly one hand over your heart let's take three more breaths together inhale let it out Taking three more deep breaths together. Inhale. And let it out. Again.
last one. Bringing those hands down beside you, coming into your final resting pose. Staying here as long as you need, allowing your body to fully release into your mat. Feeling your hands become heavy, your feet fall to the sides, your shoulders release and sink into your mat. Your head is heavy. You're releasing your jaw, removing your tongue from the top of your mouth, fully resting in this pose. And while you're here, I would love to read our scripture over you one more time. Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me, I will refresh your life for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me. Matthew 11, 28 through 29. I want you to stay here in your final resting pose as long as you need. I am going to pray over you. Lord God, I just thank you for every single person that is under the sound of my voice today. Um, I thank you, God, that whatever burdens they may be carrying, whatever area of their life that they need to be finding rest in, that you are revealing that to them and you are removing the burdens. Um, opening their hearts to know that your shoulders are big enough to carry whatever we have going on in our lives. God, we just love you. We thank you and praise you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this gentle flow. Um, if you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you've rolled up your mat and you've taken care of your body, but are you taking care of your mind and your heart? In a season where I found myself completely overwhelmed and anxious with day-to-day -day life, I recognized that something was missing. And that something was daily routine and self-care and love. So over the next few months, I began to build new habits, a new routine and some consistency that really brought life back into my heart, into my mind, and into my body. And I want to share that with you. Head on over to dailysoulcare.com and grab your free copy today.